Hello everybody and welcome again to another Tips and Tricks videos from Switch. For this particular video, we're going to cover a special technology built in into every iOS device as well as every Mac for transferring files wirelessly. We call this technology and feature AirDrop. AirDrop is a very cool feature that allows you to transfer files like photos or anything you want with just a few clicks or taps. So instead of talking about it, let me show you. Let's get started. Welcome to my operating system. I'm running Mac OS Sierra 10.12. As always with any of my previous video, I'll be using a few teaching aids. For example, you will see that I have feedback whenever I click on my mouse button. Also, you'll see me zooming in, zooming out to focus your attention on certain parts of the operating system. Now, as I was saying, I want to share files wirelessly using AirDrop. So AirDrop is a built-in technology in any Apple computer as well as iOS that allows you to transfer files wirelessly. It's actually quite simple, but there are a few prerequisites. Number one, you need to make sure that your Mac has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. They do not need to be connected to anything, but they just need to be turned on. So as long as they're on, you're good to go. Number two, for Mac, you need to click on your Finder and you have to make sure that you go to AirDrop and allow yourself to be discovered for people. Right now, you notice that my allow me to discover is by no one. So I will need to change it to allow everyone. You'll notice that I have option for contacts only, which means that only people in your contact list is allowed to even send files to you. This refers to your address book contacts. In this case, I'll skip it and just select everyone. So now that I've allowed everyone to detect me, you can use your iOS device to just send the file to you. So I wait for my friend to send it to me and oh, he's sending a photo of myself. So right now it detected that it is a photo and it gives me a few options. I can open it directly in photos. Or I'm going to accept it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to accept it. And that's it. I got my photo. All there and done. It's as simple as that. You do not need the USB port, you do not need any pen drive, you just connect wirelessly. Now, what if you want to send another file you know, to someone else? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this PDF file, I'm going to drop it into my friend's iPad. So I just drag the file and I just drop it. Notice that there's a word here called waiting. That is, you're now waiting for the friend to accept it. Once he accepts it, you'll notice that it's gone because the file is already there. Your friend now receive it. So AirDrop is really, really easy. You have to make sure that everyone has using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and they need to be turned on. Also, they need to be nearby you. Usually, between one meter between your devices, there should be sufficient. Now, if you notice, I got an option here called don't see who you're looking for. Now, that is because sometimes you could have a friend using an older Mac. An older Mac, the behavior of AirDrop is different. So if you're trying to transfer to an older Mac, click on search for older Mac. This will change the way your AirDrop works and allow you to actually transfer to an older Mac. So with that, I hope that this explains how AirDrop works. It's a very easy way to transfer files wirelessly without cable. All you need to do is make sure you're in AirDrop on your Mac, drag the file you want into any of your companions or friends and they will receive it. Same goes for yourself. Make sure you turn that everyone can see you. Let them drop it in their AirDrop interface. So with that, hopefully you learned something new in this very quick tips and tricks video. Support us on social media, like us, follow us and subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and so on and so forth. If you have any comments or any suggestion, please leave them to us. And with that being said, thank you all for watching. This is Ken from Switch saying goodbye.